Hello folks, uh, this is 2019 October November paper 1 1 and the question number is 21. And this question is concerned with the chapter waves. Uh, it says that a transverse wave on a rope has a wavelength lambda, lambda and uh, uh, period t, time period t. The graph shows the variation of the displacement of the particles of the rope with a distance in the direction of travel of the wave at time t equal to 0. So it shows a, a wave at a certain time so that means time t equal to zero that means when time passes by uh, the wave will travel so this gives the direction of travel so that means uh, this crest will uh, crest will move to the right this will move to the right this it row also moves to the right a particle x is labeled so right now we have the particle x here which has got displacement zero so let us note here the particle x has displacement zero at this time at this time means at time t equal to zero which graph shows how the variation of the displacement of particle x with time t. So we have to find the variation of a displacement of this thing, this thing with time t. So this is the displacement at time t equal to 0. And we have to see uh, what happens to this displacement, displacement when time passes. Now the first thing is that the at time t equal to 0, the displacement of this thing is equal to 0. So at time t equal to 0, displacement should be equal to 0. So here. At time t equal to 0, displacement is 0. So this qualifies till now. B. At time t equal to 0, the displacement is somewhat positive. So this does not qualify. C. At time t equal to 0, the displacement is 0. So it qualifies. And D. At time t equal to 0, there is negative displacement, which is not possible here. So this also disqualifies. Now, after some time, after some time, what happens is, uh, this thing will go here, this thing will go here, this thing will go here. So that means the wave will now become somewhat like this. So this thing might be going somewhat like this, somewhat like this, because the trough has to shift. This uh, crest has to shift. So the trough will be shifting somewhat like this. Like, so that means that the particle here will be coming down, coming down here after some time from this t equal to 0. So after some time of this 0 second or t equal to 0, this uh, x will be coming down. So x coming down means that the displacement should be negative. The displacement should be negative. So that means among these two, so after some time, some time, here it shows a positive displacement and here it shows negative displacement. And as we have already dealt with, this shows a negative displacement. So we have this, this c qualifies, but this a disqualifies. It's because after some time, the x will become negative. Then when this uh, thing reaches here, this thing reaches here, then at that time, uh, the displacement will be zero. So from negative, uh, negative, it becomes a negative max, negative max, then zero. So as time goes by, it has become, uh, time goes by, it is so time t equal to zero, which means earlier time. At a later time, some time after, uh, after that zero, it was negative. So it reaches here negative. And after some time, it goes here. It is zero, zero. After some time, this comes here, so maximum. And after some time, this uh, this portion comes here is zero. So choice C is the correct choice. These sort of graphs are slightly uh, difficult because uh, the given graph is it in accordance with the distance, in accordance with the horizontal distance, and here the graph is with in accordance with the time. So these two things are different perspectives of seeing the same thing different perspectives. So this can be seen in real life. This thing can be seen in real life, but this thing we can't, we can't see. So we have to uh, take consideration of the equations or the equation, the, the, the consideration of the theory that we have studied, then only we can solve these sort of problems properly.